Hey there everyone, welcome back to Captain N Gaming. In today's video, we're diving straight into the captivating world of Honkai Star Rail. I've got all the essential tips and insights you need to ensure your journey in the game is as smooth as possible. From the very basics of the game concept to the common mistakes you should definitely avoid as a beginner, I've got you covered. This video is designed to be concise and engaging, so get ready to be well prepared for this exciting adventure. Without further ado, let's jump right in. In Honkai Star Rail, every character possesses two significant attributes. Elements. These define the character's damage type and can be used to exploit opponent's weaknesses. There are seven elements in total. Physical, fire, ice, lightning, wind, quantum, and imaginary. Paths. These determine a character's role in combat, ranging from DPS to healer. Like elements, there are seven paths available. The hunt, the erudition, the destruction, the nihility, the harmony, the preservation, and the abundance. A character's path explains their combat role. This combat role is closely linked to that path's philosophy. Here's an overview. The hunt, DPS, excels at single target damage. The erudition, DPS, excels at multi-target damage. The destruction, DPS, an all-round fighter who can hold their own. The nihility, support, specialized in placing debuffs on opponents. The harmony, support, excels at buffing the team. The preservation, support, defense-based, typically provides shields. The abundance, healer, specialized in restoring allies' HP. Understanding these attributes and their impact on gameplay is essential to formulating effective strategies and unleashing the full potential of each character. To begin, let's delve into the basic game mechanics of Honkai Star Rail. The game employs a turn-based combat system, which means that every character and enemy takes turns to perform actions. Each character has three different abilities. Basic Attack. This move generates a skill point. Skill Ability. A stronger move that costs one skill point. Ultimate move. After using the previous abilities, your character's energy meter fills up, allowing you to unleash a powerful ultimate move at any point. Equipping your characters with light cones and relics is crucial. Light cones function as weapons, and relics provide significant stat boosts and special effects. Simply head to the character menu to equip new gear. Once you're equipped and ready, your next goal is to enhance your equipment. Focus on leveling up and ascending. As you progress, you'll encounter a certain level cap that requires specific ascension materials before you can continue leveling up. Honkai Star Rail offers a variety of engaging activities, missions. These are the quests in the game. From trailblaze missions to adventure missions, there's a wide range to explore. Helix Challenge, trade Trailblaze power for combat challenges, offering rewards like Trailblaze EXP, Character XP, Light Cone XP, and Credits. Simulated Universe, a combat challenge with different stages that's perfect for newcomers. Forgotten Hall, another combat challenge with various stages, offering great rewards, accessible at Trailblaze level 23, time-limited events. These events provide additional gameplay and are only available for a limited time. Assignments. While not a traditional activity, sending characters on assignments can yield various rewards over time. Now let's talk about the mistakes you should avoid as a beginner. Many people make these mistakes and later regret them. Here's how to steer clear of them. Fuel management. Fuel is a consumable that gives you 60 trailblaze power. The higher your equilibrium level, the better the rewards you get. As a new player, your equilibrium level will be low. To make the most of your rewards, it's a good idea to save fuel until you reach equilibrium level 4 or higher. This way, you'll get even better items. Prioritize light cones and traces. At the start, focus on leveling up your light cones and traces. This boosts your character's abilities significantly. By enhancing these aspects first, you lay a strong foundation for your journey and ensure long-term success. By the way, if you're eager to master the art of farming Stellar Jade like a pro and double your efficiency, I've got just the video for you. Make sure to check out this video right here. Strategic Relic Farming. Wait until Equilibrium Level 4 before diving into Relic Farming. This level up significantly improves your chances of finding relics with great stats and substats. By taking this approach, you can give yourself an edge as you progress. Credits Usage. Avoid excessive credit farming. 
engaging in quests, events, and daily training will naturally earn you enough credits for your needs. This means you don't have to spend your trailblaze power solely on getting credits. Efficient character leveling. Level up one character at a time. This saves resources like credits and level up materials. Concentrate on boosting one character's abilities before moving on to another. This way, you won't run low on resources. Strategic warp usage. When it comes to warping, there are two types, event warp and regular warp. Event warp is where limited time five-star characters make their appearance. If you miss out on pulling a character or light cones during the event, you'll need to wait for their rerun, similar to Genshin Impact. On the other hand, the regular warp is a permanent option where you can find standard five-star characters and light cones. It's recommended to use your stellar jades, similar to Primogems, for event warps. For the regular warp, only make use of your free star rail pass, avoiding the need to spend stellar jades. Echo of War. Don't forget to complete the weekly Echo of War activity. This gives you important ascension materials to improve your characters at key points in the game. That wraps up today's guide on what you need to know before jumping into Honkai Star Rail. I hope these insights help you start your adventure with confidence. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Captain N Gaming for more helpful content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.